Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create three amazing DIYs using Dollar Tree items. I also want to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. I will speak about them a little bit later, but for now, let's get started. The first project is how to create an artistic pillow cover. I selected this tote bag from Dollar Tree and the first thing that you want to do is to extract the handles. This bag is made with a canvas-like material which is perfect to be painted on. Once the handles are fully detached, you will want to iron it so when we recreate our design, the wrinkles won't interfere with it. Once iron, we can prepare the paint. This paint is actually available on Dollar Tree and it's perfect because it's meant for fabric. Now the first thing that you want to do is to add a little bit of brown into a larger body of pink to have a more dusty pink look. Once the paint is prepared, you want to paint the front and the back of the pillow cover. Once dry, you want to use a ruler and create a square on the back this way we can cover the original design of the tote bag. I use black paint to fully cover it. Once the bag is fully dry, we can now begin the fun part. I selected this picture as inspiration specifically because I know that a lot of these one-line designs are very on trend lately, so I wanted to give you the idea of recreating one. If you're going to use a picture as inspiration like myself, it doesn't matter if you can't do it perfectly. Keep in mind that these designs are abstract in nature, so you can use your imagination to fill the gaps. One thing I do recommend is for you to double line your lines and then paint within the lines you created so your image looks sharper. Speaking about improving your art skills, I want to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. As some of you know, I tend to add a lot of effects on my videos to create a magical atmosphere and I do this with the help of three specific skills. First, animation, second, illustration, and third, videography. Knowing the basics of these three skills have brought in my creative and professional horizons, and this is when Skillshare comes into play. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creatives, professionals, and lifelong learners. With premium membership, which is less than $10 a month, you have access to all of these classes showing you step-by-step -step how to master a specific skill that you need. From how to develop a website to how to market your product to how to improve your art skills. They even have workout classes that will guide you step-by-step -step on how to achieve your goals. I personally have been enjoying Vashti Harrison illustrating in Procreate class. She has a very magical sense of art that I absolutely love. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first thousand people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Now more than ever with this newly found downtime, I encourage you to invest in yourself. Remember, knowledge is power and Skillshare is there helping you every step of the way. Back to the pillow, once everything is dry, the last thing that you need to do is just to add the pillow and then fluff it up and once everything looks fine, these are the final results. I absolutely love how this turned out. It is definitely very on trend and it looks very minimal and chic. Not to mention that it's handmade so that immediately makes it more valuable. For the next step, you'll need one of these picture frames and the first thing that you want to do is to extract the white frame from within so you can use it as a guidance. Once extracted, you want to select a piece of paper. I selected this one that they carry. It's thicker and it's just more durable. You want to place your border so you can use it as a guidance and you want to sketch it out so you can cut it afterwards. In this project, we will be recreating a beautiful chest game. 
that is perfect to decorate and also it's functional so you can play with it. Once the frame is sketched, you now want to cut it. Once cut, we now want to mark it so we can recreate the chessboard. Keep in mind that a chessboard is 8x8 eight eight, and in this specific picture frame, these are the exact measurements that you should follow. First, you want to create the horizontal lines. After, you want to create the vertical lines. Once everything is marked, you then want to start painting the black squares. You could also print a paper with these specific measurements if you wanted to skip this step, but I personally like the way paint looks. Once your chessboard is created, we can move on to the next step. You want to take that same border frame that you use as a reference and you also want to paint it black. This will make your chessboard have a sharper and more elegant look. Make sure to extract it before it dries or else it might chip away the paint from the borders. Once dry, you want to place it back into the frame and instead of using the typical set of using now the other cardboard frame, you want to skip this step for now and you first want to add the paper and then add that cardboard frame. The reason why we're doing it this way is so that the paper is not elevated and you won't be able to see the square that you sketch on the sides. Once everything is all set, these are the initial results for this project. For the next step, I selected these metal bits that I found on the hardware section and I'm not exactly sure what they are intended for but they come in a pack of six and I will be using them as the legs for our chessboard. So the first thing that I did was to spray paint them with black spray paint so they match the frame. And once they were dry, I just used a very strong adhesive. I will link the one that I used down below in case you're interested. And I made a mixture of this adhesive along with hot glue so it would glue in place quicker. While that is drying, we can move on to the playing pieces. I selected two of these Woodcraft cube bags and in each bag comes a total of 36 pieces, which is perfect to complete one set of the game. Now the way that I decided to create the game was on a skill-like pattern for a more visually appealing outcome. And the way that I decided to do this is I stacked two cubes for the rock, three cubes for the knight, four cubes for the bishop, and five cubes for the king and the queen. And each pawn would be one cube. So that completes a total of 36 cubes. And with that, you have one set completed. You want to glue all of your sets and afterwards you want to use a wood stain. I will leave this one down below in case you're interested. And then you want to stain one of the sets so you have contrasting colors. Once everything is dry, you just want to set it in place on the chessboard. And once everything is in place, these are the final results. I absolutely love how this turned out. It looks very chic, especially because of the glass of the picture frame. It makes it look very sleek as well. 
and this is perfect to decorate an office, your living room, a guest bedroom, and the fact that it's actually playable, it's just a huge plus. I personally am very happy with this project. For the next project, you'll need one of these toy horses. You can find it on the kids section of Dollar Tree. And the first thing that you want to do is to heat up a knife. Now, personally, I like to use an X-Acto knife, but I have to buy a new one, so I have to use a real knife. I know that this scenery looks a little bit sinister. It's not my intention, so I apologize and I'll try to do better for the next video. Now, afterwards, you want to select one of these wood cubes and using the same wood stain, you want to stain it. And you want to stain a total of two cubes for this project. Once stained and dried, you want to use glue and attach half of the horse to one of the cubes. I used only hot glue, but personally, I suggest you use hot glue and a stronger adhesive as well, so you have a more durable finish. Once one side is glued, you want to take the other side and do the same thing. Make sure to align them together so they look cohesive with one another. Hold it in place and once everything is dry, these are the final results. I love how this bookend turned out. It looks very high-end and to be sincere, I am very happy with all the projects of this video. I think that they match one another even though they're a little bit more eclectic. I just think that they look very chic together. Let me know down below which one was your favorite and also don't forget to click on the Skillshare link down below so you can test your free premium trial. Also don't forget to subscribe to my sister and my bunny's channel to visit my online boutique and to follow me on Instagram to stay in touch. Well now that that has been said, thank you for stopping by and watching. May God bless you.